Cancer, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecast, taking a look at the 3D world for you and your person, the physical connection, the chemistry, how you guys interact. So I'll be pulling from these three decks here, my Sugar and Spice Oracle, the Infernos and Icicles Romance Oracle, and I'll clarify everything with my Yummy Tarot here. General advice as always, so please do keep that in mind throughout your reading. And take from it what makes sense for you. Release the rest. Okay, so we're going to start with the Sugar and Spice Oracle. A little naughty, a little nice. This deck definitely has some racy messages in here. So just advance notice there. So let's grab some insight. The physical connection. Intimacy. 3D interaction. Or perhaps the lack of it. Let's see, for Cancer. We've got two cards coming through. We have Boysenberries, which actually represents the Divine Masculine. And then we have Marzipan. Okay, let me grab one more here. And of course, Divine Masculine energy can be male or female, but in this particular instance, that card focuses on a male energy. Oh my god and then we've got guava representing the divine feminine that's interesting okay so both masculine and feminine coming through in this reading okay so let's read through these boys and berries i am not just one of the boys i'm the one who loves you would do anything for you be there whenever you need me i don't want to just blend in when it comes to winning your heart i want to stand out choose me you won't regret it now the energy that I am getting from this for this particular reading, and I don't always get this energy, is that there could have been more than one person vying for your heart, Divine Feminine. And there's this one masculine really wanting to stand out amongst the rest, you know, letting you know, it's like, I know you have choices here, but I want to be the one you choose. Okay, and then we have Marzipan. You've helped shape me into the person I am today. Your faith in me, in us, means the world to me. Sometimes life molds us into a version of ourselves we don't always recognize. But because of you, I love me. Thank you. So one of those messages where it depends on how you interpret that for yourself. Either you feel like this person really made an impact on you and you've changed for the better. Or that's how they feel you have made that impact in their life and who they are as a person. Okay, and then we have Guava. Cherish the part of you that kings, emperors, knights, princes have all fought for most. A sacred part of you that should be shared with only that special someone. Choose wisely. Who will have access to the part of your body that throbs with delight at the thought of finding true love? Who will be the one to win your um, heart? So, Divine Feminine, if you have had, I'm just going to put it out there because that's how it's coming through. If you have had multiple partners, and yes, that's possible that you could have had them at the same time, or you could you know, decide who it was that you really wanted to invest your time and energy into, this message is telling you to choose wisely. Because you might ultimately end up getting hurt if you don't make a wise choice when it comes to the options and individuals that are in your life that are trying to win your heart. Or are they actually trying to win your heart? Or is it just a physical connection that they are after? So choose wisely, okay? Because there clearly is one divine masculine who wants to stand out. And they're, they want to love you. They, they're not looking for a booty call. This is somebody that really wants to be in your life. Okay. So let's see what else we can find out for Cancer. Angels and spirit guides, please. Choose wisely. For Cancer, what do we need to know? 
speaks for itself, guys. My hunger for you is insatiable. I mean, no doubt the sexual chemistry that's coming through here. But it also reminds me of somebody, could be a feminine again, where you had multiple individuals that you could have been talking to, hanging out with, interacting with. This is the next card. The Glacier Prince. Wounded by an old flame. Very cold exterior. Desires everlasting love. So this is a divine masculine here, guys. That ended up getting hurt more than likely by a divine feminine who either wasn't ready for commitment or just had way too many choices in love and romance. And so... This person, at one point in time, they had a really good heart, but they ended up getting hurt. So that could have switched them into this person who appears to be ice cold and might even appear to not be a very approachable, nice person because of how they were hurt by somebody in the past. Give me one more card, please, focusing on Cancer. Oh, man, we knew we'd get burned by the heat, but we went into that forbidden fire anyway. It speaks volume, guys. It, it speaks volumes. It really does. I don't know who this is for, but somebody crossed the line. Forbidden territory, infidelity, cheating. It's... This particular reading, it doesn't mince words. It's it's on point. So if you didn't experience that, then this is not your reading. This is coming through for somebody who was in a partnership. And you, you probably cheated on your partner. Or you got cheated on. Somebody got hurt here. All right, let's 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 grab some tarot. I am not surprised to see that tower card because it clearly fell apart. I mean, this is destruction. Either it resulted in a separation or it resulted in a divorce, legal separations, what have you. But there's no turning back. Look at that, guys. Seven of Cups. I'm telling you, somebody had way too many options, too many choices. I'm just going to say it because this is part of the energy that's coming through. Whoever entertained all of these options here, they missed out. They made the biggest mistake of their life. Because at one point in time, they had it all. Look at that. They wished for love. They got love. They wished for devotion and affection, chemistry, somebody that checks all the boxes, somebody that they got along with. They got that wish, but they blew it. Somebody here did not recognize just how special a wish that is or that was. You know, it's like getting the wish and then crapping all over it. Somebody, somebody did that. Divine Feminine. Could it have been you? Could you have gotten this wish and plain and simple, did you end up cheating on a partner? Or was it the way around? Was it the other way around? But if I were to read this, these cards, the way they're coming through, it's coming forward from a divine feminine who had too many choices, too many options, ultimately had a beautiful relationship with somebody but threw it all away for this forbidden experience. You guys had a family more than likely, had children, built a home together, and that home came crashing down. Whatever home you guys shared, you don't live in it anymore. Something fell apart there. We do have the Ace of Cups, so it, it is giving you the opportunity to rebuild here, Cancer. 
So if you relate to this one, there were mistakes that were made. Clearly there were. It created that huge tower moment. But you know, we all make mistakes. And this is now giving you the opportunity to just start again. No judgment. Just move on. Move forward. And maybe Divine Feminine, that's you. To be able to give you a chance to find new love. So it depends. It depends on how this happened in your life. Were you married? Were you with a partner that cheated on you? Stabbed you in the back? Was there infidelity? Third parties? Or did you create that scenario? And this is simply clarifying the fact that there was a lot of pain and heartbreak that occurred when a relationship fell apart. And it went into separation. You could have been with this person a while. But something came to an end here. And so hopefully, if you relate to this, all you can focus on at this point, Cancer, is healing. That is what the Ace of Cups is giving you the opportunity to do. To focus on self-care and self-love. And the way it's presenting itself here, that's a huge, loud message coming forward for the Divine Feminine. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave that there very specific, but that's the way it presented itself here. So I hope that helps you heal to be able to see that you will be able to move on from this and to hopefully be able to forgive, either forgive someone for hurting you or forgive yourself for doing the hurting. Okay, so if you're interested in getting your own reading, that info is down below in the description box, you guys. Or, of course, the link to the decks that you see here. That will be provided down below as well. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one.